Hi, I'm Brad with Big Family Homestead and today we've got a quick video on wheatgrass. And basically, we've never really tried it and the adults in the family as well as the kids are gonna do our first wheatgrass tasting right here, right now. So let's get to it. Okay, so here's the confession. We've been growing wheatgrass for quite a while now and we've built a really neat wheatgrass growing fodder system that I have other videos that you can check out on how we did it and what we did it for, but here it is. We had only been really growing it for our animals, our rabbits and our chickens and our goats. Well, here's the deal. We know how healthful this stuff is and we know it's really, really good for your body, but we've just honestly been hesitant to try it um, <laughs> really no reason. We just have it. So today's the day, you know, everybody in the family is going to give it a shot. Uh, we've got a couple of the older kids tonight and, and we're going to have some of the younger kids try it tomorrow, but tonight it's adults and kids try wheatgrass juice for the first time. So here we go. We're going to cut it up, get it ready to go and uh, see how it goes. All right. So here we are family. Hi family. Hi. Hi. So we're going to be trying wheatgrass. Aren't you excited? Yay! Grass for dinner. I can't wait. So, all right. So, Jonathan, grab that first top grass that's up there. Oh, yeah. Right there. It's ready to go. Ready to harvest. And we're going to bring it on down off the, uh, the machine, our wheatgrass growing device. And Mama's going to start cutting. Man, that was fast. And look at all that wheatgrass we got there. Got a whole bucket load. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and grind it up in our wheatgrass grinder right here. It is, what kind of wheatgrass grinder is that? I don't know, a really good one. It's a really good one, because the guy at the health food store said it was. That's right. The end. So here we go, begin a grinding. Check that out. It's grinding that wheatgrass and draining the liquid down into this screened collection bucket thingy that I'll show you here on the other side. So there is the screened collection bucket thingy and we've just started. But what's gonna happen is the pulp gets spit out of this back little thingy here and the juice finds its way down into this collection bucket. See, there it goes. Just started. I don't know if you can see that way in the back corner. Just started. This is our cut wheatgrass mat. Now you say, boy, you didn't really get all that grass off there. And I say, yep, you're right. You Wanna know why? Because we have chickens and rabbits and goats and they love the seeds that are left in here. They love this mat. They pretty much eat everything up. So for us, there's absolutely no waste at all in this soilless setup. So that's an added benefit for us. So we are just now finished up with grinding up our tray of wheatgrass and check out this crazy like green dreadlock thing that's the uh, pulp that's coming out the back. Uh, I think we might make that into some kind of messed up chewing gum. No, not really. That'd be gross. So here we go. I think we're going to pour our juice into our cups and without further ado, we're going to give you our honest and fair opinion. Before we go any further, I'd like to point out that yes, I am a chicken. I'm not going to try it straight. They said they're going to try it straight, but I'm going to try it with a little bit of apple juice. Well, because it sounds really delightful. But there, who else trying it straight? Jonathan. Okay, mom. So two out of the five of us are trying it straight. So she's going to pour it up. Over the lips, through the gums. Look out, stomach. Here it comes. There it goes. All right, what do you think? Tastes like grass. Grass? Minty grass. Minty grass? A little bit. These were wheat berries. Yeah. So what do you think? What's your opinion? It just tastes like grass and apples because I put apple juice in mine. I was checking. Bearable? Bearable. Okay, so here we go. 
Like I said, I'm chicken. I've got the apple juice too. And here we go. I'm glad I chose the apple juice. It's actually pretty good. It's nice and sweet. And um, well, listening to how they described it, I might try it without the apple juice, but it's not so bad. I mean, I, I, I think it's kind of tasty even. Well, there it is, folks. That is adults and kids trying wheatgrass. Surprisingly, I, I, I thought it was gonna be pretty hideous. Uh, you know, I mean, it's grass for crying out loud, but it actually was not bad. And especially when we added the apple juice, it was pretty tasty. And I could honestly see us getting used to it on a daily basis without pretty much much effort at all. I would say that after a first you know, few days, you would probably grow to like it because your body is gonna want all those awesome nutrients in there. And I think it will end up desiring to have that wheatgrass and uh, you'll begin to just love it on a daily basis. So there it is, there's our opinion. I hope that you consider this for yourself because it's super healthful and uh, it can really, really help your body get done what you need to get done on a daily basis and kick your immune system in the, in the tuchus. So if you like the video, please don't forget to click like and subscribe and share it with your friends. It honestly does help our family out. I'm Brad with Big Family Homestead and you have an amazing day.